Nikita Jr. has gone 47-7-0 so far this season. So it's another one to look out for at the moment. Reese Holder is looking good. No one sort of matched his ease through to the final just yet. No, and you and you look back at his uh, out of the throw. Every centimetre counts. It is the third round. So she wants to try and get herself through to the top eight to get those extra three throws as we see Breton from the ACT. That's the uh, same Breton I think we saw in the shot put earlier. Now obviously Bolton gets him through. It'd be interesting to see the lane draw come the final because the way the lane draws work, the winners in each heat then get drawn into the four middle lanes on a nine lane track. That's four, five, six and seven. Yep. Then the other four, because there's no heat winners, I'm assuming they'll, because it's different to typical. Yeah, because it's, it's one and then everyone's a then everyone. to qualify. So, I have a feeling that eight, nine, and two and three will be drawn randomly for the next four. Hey, look, if you randomly get lane three, that's not bad. <laughs> that's the thing. You could end up with, be one of the solace through, but end yeah. up with three. And if Bolton ends up with three, be interesting to see what happens. So he's got some work to do with hold up. So hold is probably the favorite for this. Atkinson looks really comfy there in the final stages of that one. Another one to watch. What can Creek do? Yeah. Has he got more in him as well? He's been on a tear lately. So this under 16 high jump competition, Dylan Breton on your screen now. Unfortunately not on that attempt. Good clearance there from Kurt Rutler. Comes in with a 186. I've oh, just been given confirmation that the 100s will run the normal direction. The 100s will be run in the normal direction. It can be quite confusing for a lot of athletes running the wrong direction, especially with the finish line. Obviously, when you run the normal direction, you don't have a lot across the track for at least 50 metres, so you just dip at the next line. But when they do run reverse, there's every line. You make us turn right, nah, doesn't work. Like Zoolander. Great clearance there from the Queenslander.
dabbling with the ones and twos this what season you see. Yeah. locally in New South Wales. And she's been posting some pretty fast times. So that spells good things for the 400, which is obviously a pet event. Here goes Rudder and clear over 175. Joshua Freeman just knocking off the bar at 175. They've turned the high jump height board towards us just a touch. So, done us a bit of a favour. We're probably uh, about five minutes from the next event on the track, which will be the start of our 100 metre finals. It hasn't gotten any colder, thankfully. It was already cold before, so it has gotten colder. Yeah, what is... Third attempt at 1 meter 75, Joshua, followed by Thomas Bottas. No good there for Freeman at 175 again. So he might be out of the competition, unfortunately, for the Queenslander. Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce the field to the men's number 24 final. Starting with left hand side, please welcome from Victoria Will John. South Australia, South Washington. From Victoria, Anne Falls. From Victoria, Wilson Grant. Unfortunately, the Tasmanian water is knocking that one off as well. So hopefully they can get close to that 510 and hook themselves up a world under 20 qualifier while they're at it. So Keeper Brennan, 179 on the bar. His first attempt, the ACT athlete, he comes in with a 175, so he's already equaled his best by clearing the previous height. Came with a hell of a lot of speed there. Just not getting the butt over the top. And the final of the women's under 2400 minutes is on the score. Keegan, Keegan Whitten now in this under 16 men's high jump. He's a 186 man. Miss for Witten as well. Uh, 179 proving troublesome. Mitchell followed by Jack. We 
Mitchell Hatfield now. He's a 189 man. Well, make short work of 179. Thomas Sims. He'll be up next. There's Jack Chapman. He's clear over 179. It was Marcus Lafontaine Pollard. We saw him in a, too long ago on the track. Kurt, Kurt Rudder now. He's a 186 man. And then Zephyr Marlin. Takes that one down. Zephyr Marlin, now the Queenslander, and then we'll have the New South Wales athlete, Wario Duba. Oh, very close, Zephyr. Just the hammies tickling the bar off. So, Wario Duba next up from New South Wales. The 192 man. Huge clearance. It works. Easily over and smart with the long tights tonight. It's pretty cold. Especially got, when you're in high jump and you're out there for a long time. And he's got some pop. As we see Shears from the ACT. Up and over. Oh, brilliant clearance. Off to our second round attempts now. Back to Kiefer Brennan. So there's a few ACT athletes in this high jump event. One to another, Brennan. Good speed on the runway. Uh, unfortunately, not able to make the clearance. Keegan Witten. It's gone 186 this season. And there's a few athletes around that sort of mark, the high 80s. What can Witten do? Ah, unfortunately, it's not to be. Flying home. But just the power that Lobo had 
in the second half of that event. I was sort of there with him for 50 metres, and then he's like, see you later, boys, I'm off. <laughs> he was gone. And there was no catching him after that. Back out for another attempt. That's good speed. And gets it. He's over. Clutch. And he's happy with that. So Witten once again on the runway. Just nicking it with his legs. So not to beat on that attempt. Can he go clear? Yes, he's up and over. Good jump there from Rudder. And he's happy with that. A little Getting through to the next height. He's gone clear at 179, so he's still more in it. So Marlon now on the runway. Now he goes up and over as well. So they're starting to make the clearances now. There's a bit of relief there. They know they're capable of so much more. Sometimes in the high jump, that's the way the event goes. You can really sort of knock people around when you get over. Exactly. They all missed it until the third attempt, and they all got it. Yes, he's gone. Clear. 182. Great jump there from Hatfield. Jack, so we're starting to get up some pretty big heights. We've got a lot of athletes that have come in with seeds in the 80s. Now at 182 at the moment. Another athlete clear again. Chapman. So we see Sims oh, just nigging it on the way over. He's up and over. Great jump there. 182. Huge clearance. He's got plenty left. Now time for Rudder. Australia. Uh, unfortunate for Rada, not to be. In third place, and bronze medals for time, twelve point seven zero, representing New South Wales, Bronte of Lacan. Right, cheers, just going through his routine, and he's up and over. Good clearance there from Shears.
Oh, another great clearance. So, oh, getting over the 182. We've had a few clear already. He's under 16s, starting to find their rhythm here in this high jump. Ken Rudder get himself over. Uh, unfortunately, not not to be for Rudder. So Brennan, unfortunately, not to be at the new height. So the bar's gone up to 185. Mitchell, followed by Jack. South Australia 11 1 8. Kalangi 11 2 9. Wow. Love seeing 10 second runs. Mm. It's oh. just good. Love it. So this bar at 185. Oh, beautiful jump there from Chapman. He's over. Just before he got to the bar, here's Marcus Lafontaine Pollard. Uh, looks like he pushed that one away. Jump there from the ACT athlete, so straight to the track. David Brennan now having a crack at 188. Unfortunately, no good on that attempt. Mitchell followed by Jack. So Hatfield now. At 188. Next up on the track, some of the fastest juniors in Australia for 2021. There he goes. Clear. 
A great attempt there. He's going to put the pressure on the rest of the field. He's already dropped ten fives. Look out. Didn't mind the little flex that he did there when he's like, I haven't even started hitting the gym yet. there at 188 as he celebrates that we're going to go down to Ben off range with the winner of the women's under 20 100 meters Taylor Crutton Basic winning her event in 1164 No good there for Hatfield at 191 Men's under 20 high jump, uh, under 16 high jump, sorry, really heading up now. One ninety one being throwing up a few issues. Oh, there's a clearance. He is pumped. Hatfield gets over. Put him, put him in good, pretty good stead there. And finally, the official results have come up. Crundon definitely following in the same foot. I don't know. I must have done it as an accident. So Warrior Duba just missing 194 there. This height's going to sort out the medals.
jump up to 197 now.